Quarantine, part two. What is up with y'all again? It's your boy Top Dot, back with another real spill. Tonight's real spill is about patience. We all need patience, especially going through what we're going through now. And this, you know what? So, I would suggest that patience, y'all go ahead and find a little bit of extra knowledge. What I mean by that is when you calm and situations are not as rowdy as they usually is, you can take time to pinpoint certain things in situations. Now you learn. Now, the next time this come around, you don't really have to stress over it. Um, hopefully a situation like this never come around, but if a situation like this coming around, hopefully you already know what to do, you'll never have to deal with it again. Now, we all know patience takes a lot of practice. So if you don't have the patience, right now is the perfect time to practice. Just Humble yourself, think about what's good in your life, think about what's bad in your life. Stir it all into a pot and see what you come out with. Some people might have more of a bad recipe than a good recipe and vice versa. You gotta make your recipe a little bit spicy, put your own little spin to it, and don't let nobody else tell you how to cook your recipe. It's basically like living. So in this little corona day and age, folks have to sit up at the house. Me, I'm trying to perfect craft. You can even perfect and do whatever you want to, but I would suggest that practice and patience is one of them. Because when you get back to the workforce, it's going to be crazy. People have been confined in their house for almost a month now, going on a month, and then with a whole nother set of um, social distancing rules, now we got a whole nother month to um, be apart. So now, with all that in place, what are we going to do? What are we gonna do, y'all? All that we can do, practice patience, get our skills sharpened up, so when the workforce come back around, and when everybody else get the whipping and dipping again, you be right up in there in the mix with them. Now me, I plan on sharpening up my little cooking skills as well, you know, reading up on a few things to make my chef life a little easier, but I'm also practicing patience because I'm, I'm a patient person, but I'm impatient sometimes. I'm with certain things that I want to come right then and there, but they can't, so I gotta be patient, you know, such as money and notoriety, all that good stuff. But you don't have to worry about rushing if you got patience. So practice your patience, get your patience game up. Don't let nobody else tell you how to basically cook your recipe, like I said before. Um thing fell down. So yeah, put it back. Cool. We gonna um, get your patience game back up, man. Let you let people know, you know what I'm saying, that that you're good now. Um, what I mean by that is, some people don't like dealing with people that's not patient. So if you ain't got no patience about yourself and you're dealing with people that are impatient, it's not a good look. Somebody in some way, shape, or form is gonna get twisted. It's gonna get misconstrued, misguided, and next thing you know, you gotta eat. you gotta do something. Now you and that person is into it because one of y'all wasn't as patient as you should have been. But especially nowadays in this age, please practice some type of patience when it comes to money, relationships, job, anything. Just practice a little bit of patience. If you don't have the patience, you can never, especially your promise is not going to come to you. You ain't going to have what you promised because if you're not patient, that means you're going to rush past everything that you need to learn right then and there, and you're not gonna learn it. So whatever you was meant to get, you're not gonna get now. So, only thing you gotta do is make sure that you and your patients are in sync. They're in sync, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you are super patient and you see some other people that are not super patient, you patiently go over there and let the people know what the game is and what the deal is, because we all need some type of advice, not that. So, with that being said, y'all, I would like to tell y'all once again, be safe out here, be easy, calm down. We're going to be out of this situation soon, so y'all don't be tripping. Um, all you people that still going to the beaches and stuff like that, stop it. Why? But that's you. It's a deadly disease going on out here, and not disease, I'm sorry, it's a deadly virus going on out here, and Y'all just all up in the way of it. But y'all do what y'all do. And I'm going to make sure my people don't want to stay safe, do what they do, and myself. So, once again, 
I would like to thank y'all for being patient enough. And if y'all are patient enough to make it to the end of the video, hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you ain't subscribed. Leave a comment and let me know if it's good. And until next Monday, it's been Top Dot with Real Spill. I'm gone.